I was traveling for an evangelistic outreach to a place called Uguta in Imo State, Nigeria. In the course of the journey, the people in the bus were discussing about several things. And at some point, they began to discuss about government. They discussed about the insecurities and the fact that the people that have been elected to the positions in government has not been able to do what they promised the people. And they were saying that they believe at some point that there will be a transformation, that there will be a new dawn in the country Nigeria. I have to interrupt the discussion and say, I do not think that there will be a time when things will be better again in Nigeria or even in the world. Immediately they had me say that. Everybody began to shout, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. I got confused. But then somebody stated that they believe that one day everybody, everything will be all right everything will be okay, that there will be a transformation, that there will be a leader that will come in and transform everything to the test of the people. I said, yes, I believe that one day there will be a new dawn, but I do not think that that new dawn will be in this present earth. Friends, till today, people are still expecting that there will be a new dawn. Till today, People are still expecting that transformation and the reformation that they have always expected from time immemorial. My friends, do you know what? We have seen that instead of things moving from bad to good and to better or even best, things has rather moved from bad to worse. Things are getting bad by the day and the victims of injustice are crying out saying, how long, how long will the people we have elected do justice? How long will the people we have elected do things that they have promised to us? Friends, do you know in the scriptures, in Revelation chapter 6 verse 9, there are also people that shouted, how long? And the Bible says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on earth? Friends, the difference is that the people in the book of Revelation are calling upon God for help, while the people on earth and in our present generation are calling upon the governmental leaders to help them. The truth is that the governmental leaders can never help us. They can never help us. There is something we are doing. There is this mistake we've been doing all the time. And that is that the much expectation we have from within has made us lose sight of the sure help we can get from without. Friends, the Bible made us to understand in Psalms chapter 146 verse 3, it says, Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. Over time, we have put our trust, we have depended, and we have hoped for a new, a new reign. We have hoped for a new season. We have hoped for a new time, a new dawn, when things will be better in the world, even in Nigeria. But you see, we have made a mistake by putting our trust in men who can fail. See, we have forgotten that the Lord did not promise us a smooth journey, but he has promised us a safe arrival. The Lord did not promise us a smooth journey. Yes, in the course of our journey, in our travel, we experience things that are not good. We experience some predicament, but the truth is that we will surely experience a new and a self, we surely experience a self arrival. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 16 verse 33, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yes, we will not always have everything smooth in this world. We will, as a matter of fact, have to suffer at some point. We will have to pray and cry. We will have to cry at some point. But the truth is that, Jesus has overcome the world for us. And so at last, 
all our suffering, all our tribulation will come to an end. Jesus, friends, is the only person that has given us the best promise and he has always fulfilled it. Why not hope on him for him to fulfill the promise he has given to us? This is because the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12 said, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we can be saved. The only person that can save us in this world is Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ, friends. He is the only one that can save us. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18, the word of the Lord says, And therefore will the Lord wait, and he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all that wait for him. If only we will learn to wait and wait on the Lord, then he will reveal his judgment. He will give justification and deliverance and vindication upon those that are innocent. In 2015 and 2019 respectively, the Nigerian government gave us lots of promises of which they have not been able to fulfill. You see friends, we have a God who can give us justice. We have a God who can give us deliverance. We have a God who can fulfill the promises he has given to us. Why not wait and depend and trust in him? Because he and he alone can help us. Eloise says in Christ's object lesson, page 142, paragraph 1, he, talking about God, invites us to trust in him with a trust deeper and stronger than a child in his earthly father. In his earthly father. Parents love their children, but the love of God is larger, broader, deeper than the human love can possibly be. It is immeasurable. It is highly immeasurable. The love of God is immeasurable. We can never compare it by with anything. We can never compare the love of God. That is why you have to remove your trust now on those leaders you have elected because they cannot grant you safety. They cannot grant you salvation. They cannot grant you protection. Neither can they grant you anything you expect from them. They are humans and they will surely fail. They have always been failing. Trust in the Lord today and He will renew your strength.